you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new Legend. It's Legend Saturday, so you could be expecting four videos today, most likely. We got Legend Saturday content. We got Market Talk. I do have an overrated card video for you guys coming pretty soon. And if all goes well, a 1 million coin shopping spree. Guys, gonna be a good day for videos. Hopefully show a ton of support, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Drop a drop a like. Let's get this video to about 200 likes. I'm trying to build up the like count on the, on the content videos. We're slowly getting up there, making content a, day, a staple on the channel. Also, if you're new to the channel, drop a sub for your boy. We're trying to get to 10K by the first week of September, guys. I have a crazy subscriber special for you. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's one of your favorite YouTubers, trust me. And you won't, you won't even expect what it's gonna be. It's gonna be crazy. Cannot wait, about September 6th, most likely is gonna be the day. So if we can get 10K by then, and if we don't, hopefully this pushes us over it, so. Guys, smash the sub button, turn on the Noti bell to get notified every time we post a brand new video. Noti gang's like 1.3K now. Let's get that up to 2K by the end of the month, good boys. And now, comment down below what you think of these legends, because I'm kind of hyped about them, but one of them I think is a trap, and I'll let you guys know exactly which one. But guys, I'm hyped. The new legends are in the game. Let's go over them, let's review them, let's talk about them. And let's show you them and show you the stats and what I think about the bait part of it. Now let's see if they updated this, because this is where I always check. Of course they didn't, because E is like that. But they'll never miss out on the bundle. I bet you the bundle's up. I bet you the bundle's up. Of course. Of, of course the Legend Fantasy bundle's out because they don't forget to drop the real life currency packs, but they'll always they always have the sets coming out late. Because that, that doesn't matter as much. Because us actually getting the cards doesn't matter. As long as we're spending money for them, we're good. So as per usual, what I open these Legend Fantasy packs today. Let's check out these. So 88 plus is the 3.7. It's kind of low. 87 plus is a 7.2. That's not horrible. 85 plus is a 20%. That's really not that bad. That means like one out of every five packs you're getting 85 plus. So you open a five leash post to get something better. But it all depends. Now this is about $100 for an eight times Legend Fantasy Pack bundle. Eight Legend Fantasy Packs and an 85 topper. Again, as per usual, you could probably open up. If you open up, I believe it is. You get eight there. If you open up eight here, you get 12,000. Yeah, oh, they actually evened it out now. So now it makes more sense to open up the Legend Fantasy bundle in terms of instead of waiting. Okay, so... In my opinion, are these packs worth it? Are they at all? Let's see. So, again, I think they evened out the currency to where because a week ago you could actually get more packs for less in the bundle. I think it's evened out now. I could be entirely wrong because if you open up two of these, that for ten packs, that's about ten. Oh, so actually no. Again, it's the same thing. You can get ten packs for a similar currency to that. If you open up two of these right here, the only difference is that you don't get the topper. But some people think the topper's ass anyway. So in that opinion, in that in that that reasoning alone can make sense for you to get. I think you get two extra fantasy bundles or two extra fantasy packs i should say in comparison to the 85 plus topper so that's on you guys what you'd like to do as far as that let's go over to the auction block i should check the sets i don't think they're in the set yet they're, they are in the block i know that i confirmed that already the sets are not up yet so let's go over to the auction block and compare them so what they dropped today was willie brown steve young and bob lanier hope i said that right now these legends right here let's see if the full ones are out so i can go over them but i will show you the price of the pieces remember guys quick little tip Today is Legend Saturday, which means right now is the time to be buying Legend pieces for cheap. So if you plan to buy any Legends, right now is the time because there's going to be a lot of them coming out of packs. So just keep in mind, if you want to buy, if you want any Legends, today would be the day. Let's go down. Let's see if they're up. Steve Young, Willie Brown. See, Lawrence Taylor's already coming down a little bit. Today's the day to buy our Legends, guys. I don't see any full. Oh, there's Steve Young. Okay, so we can go over Steve Young first. So Steve Young. Six foot two, 90 over a quarterback, not bad. Kind of hoping he would have been a 91. Now he's the bait. He's the bait I'm talking about, but I'll go over that in a second. So he's got an 81 speed. So he's the first real mobile quarterback in this game. I don't care about Kyler Murray because or Lamar because they can't pass. He's the first real mobile usable quarterback. 88 throw power, 89 throw accuracy short, 89 throw accuracy mid, 86 throw accuracy deep, 89 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 87 play action. This card's actually insane. Is a very good quarterback, but I think he's bait. I think he's bait because typically every year. They dropped the first mobile quarterback of the new Madden. Everyone goes crazy. We spent 500, 600,000 coins on this card. We power him up. We cam him up. And then a week later, they just stopped dropping a bunch of mobile quarterbacks. This is like breaking the seal. They break the seal of Steve Young. Everyone gets overexcited. Everyone spends so many coins. And then a week later, they drop more. Steve Young dies in value. And then everyone loses coins because they have to go go to the next one. Let's compare him to Pat Mahomes. So he does blow away Pat Mahomes. Same throw power. Better speed by a lot. Better throw, uh, throw accuracy short, better throw accuracy mid, equal deep, equal throw under pressure, really similar throw on the run, and way better play action. Let's see what his ball carry moves are. He has his ability in the corner, what is that? He might be able to get escape artist, which is supposed to be like the evasive, like the glitchy 
the glitch you can for quarterbacks. So that could be huge. He might be the first escape artist quarterback. Let's see what his ball carrying moves are. Okay, so bad elusiveness, bad ball carrying, bad spin, bad juke. Okay, so he's not gonna be the best runner, but he's definitely gonna be fast for straight up straight line speed. Definitely an awesome quarterback. Break sack is 80. Okay, so this is a really good card. This is a really, really good card. Let's see if Willie Brown's up now. I really want to, but I don't want to fall for the bait. I know it's going to be bait. Let's go also check the Pat Mahomes price because he should have went down too. Okay, so let's go to Raiders. I don't know why I clicked for Niners again. Willie Brown. This is a card that I really want. Wait to see this card. Six feet, six foot one. It's a tall cornerback. 87 speed, 85 excel, 85 agility, 85 jumping, 88 play rec, 90 man, 89 zone, 88 press. You put lockdown on this guy, he hits all the thresholds. This card's going to be the glitchiest cornerback in the game. I'll probably power him up as soon as I can. This card is insane. Compare him to Stephon Gilmore. He's right there, except he gets zone and man coverage for a threshold. Stephon Gilmore doesn't. He's faster, too. The only thing he lacks is an excel and agility, but Stephon Gilmore, Willie Brown, Jalen Ramsey is going to be clamp squad. Look at this. Blows away Jalen Ramsey. I'm very excited to have all these guys on my team. He's unreal. Let's see what his hit power is and his catching. So his catch is 74, which is really good right now. Decent tackling. His jumping is 85. Let's see. Juke was actually not horrible for a cornerback. Pursuit's a little low, lower than I like to see, but that's not, a, that's not the biggest of issues. Decent stamina. Hit power is a 73. So that's not bad at all for cornerbacks. Anything above a 70 is like really good right now. Okay, let's see if Bob Lanier is up. He might not be up just yet because he is, in fact. There you go, by the way. I knew a Pat Mahomes went from 410K to 324 in a day. I told you guys to sell him. I warned you guys he was going to die as soon as the next big quarterback came out. I told you the superstars are way overpriced right now. If you guys still have you might have to just wait at this point. Because Steve Young does blow him away, but I don't know if that justifies selling him. Because Pat Mahomes comes with abilities, which Steve Young does not. Steve Young is going to cost like 400, 500K right now. Plus abilities, so probably another 200K. So probably like six, 700K to get a fully powered up Steve Young. Which in my opinion does not beat Pat Mahomes for double the price. I'd much rather stick with my Mahomes with... Safety valve, bazooka, anchored uh, extender, and red zone ability, dead eye. So I wouldn't recommend going out of your way for him. I believe Bob Lanier is a he's a chief, right? Let's see. Let's type him name in. See if we can find him on the block. Guys, these legends say this is a really big drop. Three usable cards. I know Lanier stats are insane too. Let's see. Let's see if there's any piece. Oh, okay, it's a limited time, so there won't be pieces, right? Let's see. Let's see. So, yeah, he is not up, but his power-up is. So, Willie Lanier. I have a, I have a pretty much remember his stats. He has, like, an 83 speed. He has a good hit power. He has good player. Everything's, like, high 80s except for his zone. His zone's not the best, but he's pretty much a much better Bobby Wagner, in my personal opinion. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Newest. But, yeah, guys, that's about it for the video as far as the Legend content goes. I can go show you guys the solo challenges actually real quick see if they drop those remember guys if you ever want a power-up card you go over to the solo challenges and you can come over and play them and get the free power up for them hopefully they're out already so I can show you guys legends week four it should be it Steve Young Willie Brown Willie Lanier so if you want their power-ups you play these you can also do them really quickly and sell them probably for 10 to 20k right now so it's a good coin making method just right off the bat every legends week but guys as far as rating them First one is gonna be Willie Brown. Willie Brown's a lockdown corner this early in the year. He hits every threshold, so it's like he could you could have money for like a few months probably with good speed. And then Steve Young's a really good quarterback right now, but I can't imagine he's gonna be the only mobile quarterback for too long. There should probably be a Vic coming within the next month or so, so I probably should wait for Vic to have my quarterback. I'm more than happy with Mahomes. I run the ball mostly anyways, so I don't really mind. Willie Brown, top cornerback, and Willie Lanier is really good, but he is limited time, so that kind of stuns my my feelings towards him just because Willie Brown isn't exact. I mean Willie Lanier. It's a limited time, so he's going to be over overpriced, and he's not really a card you want long term for the for this time. Some of these legends, you might not see another upgrade to Ultimate Legends, so I feel like Willie, Willie Lanier might be one of those guys, so I'd recommend you just wait. If you want to pick up anyone, it'd be Steve Young and Willie Brown, but Willie Brown is definitely one you could use for quite a while, in my personal opinion. Now, guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below and smack the sub button. Let's get to 7K subs by the end of this week. Or should I say, by like maybe Tuesday, 7K subs by Tuesday. That seems about realistic. And then. Let's get this video to about 200 likes. Comment down below what you think of these brand new legends and let me know what you guys' feelings are towards them because I personally really like this legend drop. This might be the best one yet besides Mark Sal, and that'll always be the best one. But guys, don't forget, smack the sub, smack the like button, comment down below. Also, go over to go over on Twitter and follow me at poodle underscore YT for anything. You guys, I've had hundreds of DMs in the last few days asking for advice. If you need any advice on legend pieces, Mark advice, anything, hit me up on there. I typically answer pretty fast unless I'm getting overwhelmed or I'm busy. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.